Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in the once known resort as Jaywick Sands. This was constructed in the 1930s as a holiday resort for Londoners, but over time has been officially named the most deprived area in the country. So we're gonna have a walk down the high street, have a look around, because I actually think that Jaywick is getting a new lease of life. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Also, we'll check out the beach and of course the Martello Tower at the end. Let's go. So we'll have a look a bit more at the beach in a little bit. It is a really nice beach, especially on a day like today when the sun's been out. But just starting up here at the beach bar, which was established back in 1953. Hasn't been open for a while, though it has had a new paint job on it. Bit of a shame, you would have thought on a day like today they'd make a killing. In. You'll probably see that Martello Tower just over there. That's in Clacton. Obviously just around the bay here is where we enter Jaywick Sands. So let's just have a walk off the beach into the main high street and I'll show you what I mean about Jaywick getting a new lease of life in a little bit. Nice little cafe. There is some amusements up here, a place to get some takeaway. But you'll notice all the houses in Jaywick are all chalet bungalow style. There's a couple of shops in Jaywick because there is a holiday park just up the road as well. So if you want to get some stuff whilst you're here on holiday, where you used to be able to buy your holiday chalet, no doubt. This is so retro. I think I remember that sign when I was a kid. The Wall's ice cream sign. Loads of different access points to the beach, literally every few hundred yards. There's a takeaway there. And of course, Jaywick Amusements. The only one that's uh, in Jaywick, and there's a, there's a bar next to it as well, which looks pretty good. And never say die in Jaywick. I think they've had some problems here with the windows. Look at that. Blimey. It does remind me of, um, it's like the English version of Venice Beach in California. If you've been there, you'll know exactly what I mean. Like a lot of smaller little beach houses, but UK style. Oh, that's pretty big. Because this one has just been sold. See, this would actually make a nice beach house. Cladding's been done on that. Looks really nice. Just Google Venice Beach in California and you'll know exactly what I mean. Okay, there's one for sale here. All these have amazing sea views, you know. Let's have a walk up to the beach. See what kind of view these houses have got. Wow, look at that, what an amazing view. Just make our way back down towards the high street again. Yeah, it's been sold. People are saying people are not buying houses in Jaywick. Well, they are. You got a little bit of investment. This place could be really great again. Huh, that's really good, isn't it? So the obvious problem they have in Jaywick is fly tippers. I mean, it just brings the area down, obviously. People just dump their sofas and fridges. So there used to be some amusements here in a snack bar. Again, they look like they've been closed for some time. It's actually a chemist just here and a post office. So as you walk up this area of Jaywick, it's getting a big redevelopment up here. Look at this, this looks really nice. Random that they've decided just to plant all these palm trees here. These aren't cheap to put in, are they? See, it seems a bit odd they've put all this plant and shrubbery in for the car park but it's kind of made this area look a lot better. So you've got the old Jaywick just here. Open soon, don't think so. But right by the old, as I said, 
you got the new. These look really nice. So talking of the redevelopment of Jaywick, you can see here. So this actually looks like it's going to be pretty good. I'm standing kind of in the corner here and there's going to be a calf, some uh, a market, a community garden as well, and an outside event space. Should look really good. Look at the old photos of Jaywick, look at that. This is where you'd come for your holidays. So this used to be a, a big landmark in Jaywick, a meeting place for for people. Just look at the old photo of Beach Road in Jaywick compared to now. Again, look how busy the beach used to be. So this will be pretty good when this is, uh, when this is finished. Jaywick even used to have a little miniature train. Did you know that? So I love all these little history boards. Fascinating history of what Jaywick once was. And you can see by the accommodation there, they were only supposed to be for people on holiday in the summer, not to live in all year round. So this is the new development. It's coming on pretty quick. Let's check out the beach. Because whatever you might think about Jaywick, it still has one of the best beaches in Essex. And with the groins put in and all the little bays, it is just beautiful, especially on a day like today. I'll tell you what, but one thing about the beach though, in the dunes, I haven't seen many of these on UK beaches. These are really, really spiky. You don't be walking around here in your flip flops. And when you're going up and down the beach, you'll come across some of these. And if you scan the QR code, it tells you stories of people's memories of summer holidays past in Jaywick. And there's the website, jaywickforhappiness.org.uk. So there is a holiday park just in front of me there and the Martello Tower, just gonna walk up there. So this particular Martello Tower was built back in 1809. It was originally one of the 29 Martello Towers situated on the east coast of England. There's still quite a few of them. Some people have actually made them into homes. Um, others have been bought by English heritage and made as tourist attractions. And this is one as well. I think, I think it's like a pound or something to go in. I'll have a look if we can actually go in today. I don't think it's open. There is some stairs around here though. This is another entrance. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Shame it's not open. I'll try it anyway. No, it's not. So they are open, but only Thursday to Sunday. So, and I've come down on a Wednesday, which is a, a little bit of a shame. I think it's a pound or something to go in there. So it's worth having a look at the history of what these Martello towers were all about. So I have to pop back next year and see what the progress is like. If you want to see Clacton, don't forget to click the video here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time.